Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the water fill tube kit on your refrigerator. It's a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and a utility knife. Let me show you how it's done. Because the replacement of this water fill tube requires pulling the refrigerator forward, possibly disconnecting the water line, we're probably also going to want to disconnect the power supply. So once we've got that out far enough that we have room to get access to the back of the refrigerator, we can continue with our job. Now there's a fill line that comes up to the water fill tube. Let's clamp a quarter inch hex head screw on it. Just loosen that screw to pull the water tube completely out. It'll be snug because there is a metal insert at the end of the tube. We're going to end up cutting off that much of the tube because we're going to have a new fitting on there. So we want that out of the way. Next, we'll remove the two quarter inch hex head screws that hold the fill tube to the cabinet. Now the original fill tube is probably a two piece device, plastic for about four inches, and then there's a metal tube on the end. When we pull the plastic portion out, the metal piece will stay at the back of the ice maker. So we'll have to go around and take that out. We slide it out, and the metal portion stayed inside. So we need to take both of these pieces, put them back together, to determine the full length of it. Now, with the fill tube removed from the rear, we now need to remove the extension back of the ice maker. Short metal fill tube extension that will be laying in the back. Simply reach in, pull that out. Now that we've retrieved the metal portion off the back of the ice maker, you'll notice there would have been a small dimple on the plastic piece that matches up with the metal. Reinstall it until you feel it settle into that spot. And we'll compare the length cut our new one to the same length. Just make a small mark on it. And we'll cut that off with a utility knife and we can discard the old unit completely. Now we want to make a nice straight cut this new fill tube and if there are any burrs left we want to remove those so that we don't have some splashing at the rear of the ice maker. Now that we've removed all the burrs at the end of the fill tube, we'll simply insert it through the back of the cabinet. It should line up flush with the back of the cabinet. Now we can reinstall the two quarter inch hex head screws, hold the fill tube in place. Next, we'll prepare the water line. We're going to cut off about three quarters of an inch off of the old water line. You'll notice there's a little metal insert in there. You can cut just below that metal insert. A nice sharp utility knife. Just snap that right off. Next, we'll take the new compression nut, slide that over the fill tube. Now we'll take the new metal insert that came with the kit, insert it into the end of the tube, make sure there's no burrs on the end of our tubing.
push the tube fully into the fill tube. And then we'll tighten the compression nut. You should be able to get a tight enough fit by hand, but if you need to, you can take a pair of pliers and just give it an extra bit snug. Make sure our tubing is not kinked. We'll reconnect our water supply, turn it on, cycle the ice maker, make sure that we have no leaks here. That's just how easy it is to change the water fill tube kit on your refrigerator. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.